Do you believe in ghosts? Do you think they're demons? Or metaphysical anomalies? Or time travelers? Or maybe even just plasma or energy fields? What is a ghost? Well, I have four ghost stories for us to review today, and I want your comments because this is how we engage in conversation in the modern era. I also welcome you to subscribe and hit that notification bell and join the Shed Show Talk community. My name is Beth. The Gray Man is one of the most unique ghost stories that I could find because the Gray Man is not only a ghost, but he's a messenger. And when people get an encounter with the Gray Man, they know a hurricane or a storm is coming. And if they heed that warning, their lives are saved. So this ghost, who was once a real human who lived in South Carolina, is now a, a messenger or perhaps an interventionist or um, a spirit taking on that form. I'm not quite sure, but uh, various eyewitnesses have encountered the gray man. Now, according to the website mysteriousuniverse.com, there are many eyewitness accounts and some describe the gray man as a figure dressed in all gray clothing. And he usually appears on the beach, either stepping out of the dunes or waving to boaters from the shore before vanishing without saying a word. And what's interesting to me about the gray man is that he's rooted in history. So his story is that he was on his way home to see his love, his fiance, to set the date for their wedding. And he was rushing home. He tried to speed through the marshlands on his horse and both him and his horse perished in quicksand. And his fiance, who was deeply, deeply grieved, used to walk the beach every day just to process her grief. And one day she saw him and and she went to reach out to him and he vanished. Legend has it that from that point on, people didn't believe that she had in fact seen her fiance and her great love. But what happened was later people start to encounter him. And through those encounters, they were actually saved from major events like a hurricane and other types of tropical storms. So his legend grew based on personal experiences of the local islanders. So what is this uh, gray man? Was he an interventionist? Was he a time traveler? Is he a disembodied spirit? I have no clue. I know that there's been a lot of research into him and it's been really hard for people to narrow down the exact history of this story, but maybe you can. Be a Shed Show talker. Let us know what you think in the comments section. Provide your comments because we want to hear from you. So who do you think the gray man is? The ghost of the barn. Well, I always thought that ghosts didn't like cameras and they shied away from technology. But according to spacedoutradio.com, who did a ghost hunt at the Clydesdale barn, which is over a hundred years old, that they have a ghost who likes cameras. And we're looking at this picture taken by Connie on a ghost tour of this very famous ghost. Now, some people call him Ron, some call him Roy, but one thing's for certain, he's very well known. He's made a lot of contact with different people. And people often talk about hearing footsteps or even seeing their K2 meters light up completely when this ghost is around. And apparently he has a bit of a thing for the ladies. And so uh, females often talk about being touched by this ghost on their arm or their shoulder or on their hair. Anyhow, so this group was out um, doing a paranormal search at this Canadian barn and uh, Connie had never been on a tour before. She didn't even really believe in the paranormal, but she was the one to capture this image and it almost looks like he's leaning on the railing. It's not quite sure, um, but if you want to check this out, go ahead and check out the website spacedoutradio.com and they posted this picture to their Twitter which is how it captured my imagination and that's why I'm letting you know about it so that you can do your investigation. Do you believe this is a real photo of a ghost? Let me know in the comments section. Beware the prisoner. You can't have a ghost story without involving some kind of prison and particularly like the Shepton Mallet prison in the United Kingdom which is a hot spot of paranormal activity 
and frequently there are tours there for a reason. It's an old prison. It's been around since the 17th century. It's had some high-profile prisoners, and it's had a lot of army prisoners throughout various campaigns, including even the American army. But what happened that is so interesting is that there was a tour going on in this wide compound where they were sort of going over the death row inmate stories that are really popular on paranormal tours. I find them kind of dark, but this is what people really find entertaining on a ghost tour. And so this compound is known to have many ghosts and many experiences. Well, would you believe it if I told you that the man you're looking at right now, according to the mirror.com, had an encounter where he felt a sharp pain on his hand while talking about a death row inmate and he found this burn on his hand. He was actually burned by whatever entity was there. He felt the sharp pain, he saw the burn which is now scabbed over. And this is all documented in the mirror. You can go take a look at the document yourself. He said it was very bizarre and I agree with him. This is very bizarre. And this is the thing that really catches my attention. Clearly, whatever ghosts are, and I know there's huge and diverse opinion as to whether or not ghosts are real, and if so, what they're made out of, if they're eternal beings or demons, or if they're plasma spheres, or if they're remnants of a time-space continuum ripple or some kind of quantum effect, nobody really knows. But whatever this was, it was able to impact this tour guide to the point of burning his hand. So there was physical contact. People are always talking about disclosure. Well, here's a disclosure. This person was touched by something he could not see and it burned him and he scabbed over. You can check out the article yourself at The Mirror and uh, let us know what you think in the comments section. But do you believe in ghosts? And if so, do you have any stories quite like this? Definitely let me know. My name's Beth, and you can always tweet me at Shed Show Talk and uh, let me know what your experience is. But for now, I find this story truly a phenomena. Check the window. What would you do if in the morning you woke up to find your secured and latched window open, letting cool air into your house? Besides being worried about the energy bill, what would you be thinking? And what would you do if this has happened a few times and you've tried different ways to secure that very window? Would you start to ask new questions? I definitely would. Now the gentleman who has posted these photos in an article published by The Mirror talks about the fact that he set up cameras in his house to record what was happening. He noticed that several times the window was being opened. He also noticed sometimes I think that his blinds were also being opened and he's not sure. He thought something was coming in but you know when I watch the video it's not clear exactly what's happening. I do notice a slight hue happen right after the latch comes undone before the window opens and that has really piqued my curiosity. So I'm going to post a video of it and then I'm going to do a little bit more commentary but I want you to watch very closely and see what you think is going on in this video. Okay, so clearly something is happening with this window that you see this gentleman pointing at. And he had said he noticed things going bump in the night. The house made noises when he went to check where there was never anything. And you can see clearly by the high-tech cameras he installed that he meant business when he wanted to record this. And he had mentioned that his brother had also used to stay there and he felt like there was something pushing down on top of him while he slept. So clearly there's multiple elements going on prior to you even seeing this video, which is now on your screen or at least it'll be replaying here in a second. So what is going on? Now when I watch this video one of the things I want to point out is how quickly that latch pops up. It stops almost like a record arm for a record player and then it drops down but if you watch it actually drops down even a little bit more. Then there's a few seconds the window pushes open then it pauses and then it slowly completes its push open. Now if I was to watch this video with no context I would wonder if it was legitimate. I'll be really honest. 
it almost feels like this is a completely mechanical process, almost as if it's on a timer, again like a record player. The arm goes up, the arm spins over the record, and slowly it lowers itself down just like a record player. So this has me thinking perhaps it's a mechanical process, but I'm just speculating and I'm hoping that you're gonna speculate too, because ultimately we have the choice of believing a man who has told his story, who has another witness who could corroborate his story, saying that there's an energy in the house. I don't know if this has been investigated. I sure hope somebody watches this video and requests to do an actual paranormal investigation in this house. I know others of you would recommend an exorcist and then there'd be others of you who'd want to do an engineering investigation to see if there's anything involved in this locking and unlocking mechanism. Either way, the most important part is that we have a conversation about these things that we're seeing, that you subscribe, you comment, and remember, we just started a Facebook page, so feel free to check that out too. It's facebook.com slash Shed Show Talk.